today is day one of our trip in Lima and we got a bit of a late start today because we slept in. We were so tired. This is my outfit of the day. I also did a little bit of work this morning. So that was lovely. And my hair, because it's humid out, um, I just kind of let go wild because it's windy and it's gonna get crazy anyways you just shut the blinds but i'm gonna show oh geez <laughs> sorry guys show you outside a bit of traffic right now this is our view during the day i love that we have that park right in front there's the sea or the ocean we're gonna head that way and then walk along the water there we are going to go down to this little fruit thing where is it yeah right there get some fruit. I love that we can see like the mountains and the ocean. How are you feeling? Good. Ready to get some more coffee and water. And oh my gosh, we definitely need coffee. It's looking very summery. <laughs> How about I lost my sunglasses, my prescription sunglasses. I, oh, I have absolutely no idea where I left them or if I packed them already. And now I'm just going to be blind i do have a pair of like old sunglasses these are from oh they actually don't even look like sunglasses on camera they're from diff so i'll just wear these i haven't worn these let me see these are sunglasses they are pretty big but at least they'll cover my face mine are like oversized and his are small so balance all of our balance yeah. we're gonna head out and get some food and explore the area so i'm super excited the outfit of the day sandals are target. skirt is vintage american eagle tank is also target my shoes are nike um bag sra shirt guess you guys <laughs> <laughs> elementary school we did this project where we hatched monarch but butterflies and it was actually like the first book that I ever wrote it was about the monarch butterfly cycle and look what is here this is so cute it takes you through like all the stages here let me go on the other side yeah look there's monarch butterflies everywhere but there's all of these and then the monarch butterflies. This is beautiful. This whole park with the water behind it. There's so many. Mm -hmm. Well, it's quite warm. Mm -hmm. mm. like the Oregon Trail for him. Poor baby. I didn't make it. We were just saying like over here it doesn't smell like salt water. Yeah, salt water because it doesn't smell like salt water. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. How stinking cute is that? It's so cute. I'm like obsessed with this house. Oh my gosh, there's even crows. It's like Hansel and Gretel. Oh. Almost, you know? Imagine living there and having that kind of house with like that vibe. Up in this 
this room, like writing a book or painting or something. And this is your view. Stunning. For all of my traveler friends here, this is like one of those times where we're like, we could live here, we could move here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not too far off from like where we're actually going, guys. I'm sweating. Going from 30 degrees to 80 degrees is no joke. Mm -hmm. My body is like, where did this come from? Ooh, and oh my gosh, look at how beautiful. <gasps> my mother would be in heaven. I love the detail on the, the trim there. The yeah. Top. That is gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> it's 
so cute. In this little like alley, nobody was coming down here, but so there's two restaurants, so I just wanted to check them out. It's an Italian restaurant. And then there's like it does smell amazing. walk around the city and stuff like yeah. this area it's so lively mm -hmm. we thought it was, it was like sorry it was like pretty unexpected too because i feel like we just kind of like stumbled upon all of this because mm -hmm. so we were walking kind of like the coast yeah yeah we started out at like our airbnb our airbnb and like walked the same way down to the overlook kind of like place that we were at yeah. um, earlier and then walked like literally all the way around and like the neighborhoods and everything and ended up here like way further down mm -hmm. but it was an easy walk it was like so quick and stuff and there was so much to see so it was really cool yeah it was really cool I love seeing all like the old buildings and just everything has so much character to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were people watching the um, the sunset, and they were just like laying in the grass, like so many couples just like mm -hmm. laying in, in the grass and like on the cliff and everything. Yep, it was so sweet. There were like families out there. There's like groups of kids that are just hanging out. Yeah, so many groups of kids, like. Just like teens hanging out, like that's fun to them. Yeah, I love that. Like being outside and it's really cool. Yeah, is this the same but place we went earlier today? I think it actually might be the same. Well, time to get something else. It was really good, honestly. It was like, really good. So we're sitting here, just like yawning, and because it's nine o'clock at night, and we're like, why are we up so late? <laughs> I mean, we were walking around and you were like, oh, I thought it was like 10 o'clock. I did. I thought it was 10. I was like, oh, there's so many like families and stuff like out and it's so late. And then I looked down at my phone and it was 8.22. <laughs> yeah. You did do more of this like night stuff. Yeah, so I did. Yeah. So much to see. There really is. Cause we, we were walking around and it didn't even feel like we were walking. Like we've literally no. been walking since six. Yeah, yeah, six, six thirty. We left the apartment. Yeah, we've been walking around this whole time, and not that it's like so long, but no, it feels so nice though just to walk. Mhm. Mm I miss this a ton. But boy, are we tired. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we did have an international flight yesterday, so. Yeah, it was only six and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's my longest flight. <laughs> it is. It's, it was his longest flight yesterday. This is his yeah. first like international trip. Mm -hmm. So he was like, he got like the special treatment because yeah. pillow, blanket, meal. He loved that. Yeah. He loved the a big meal. Glass of wine. Oh my gosh! It, <laughs> it was like a heavy pour. We're not. I was not expecting that. I need some sustenance and some sleep. Got round two. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
got back home and <laughs> look at my hair. I actually straightened it yesterday. I wanted to like save it for a couple days without having to actually do it because it's normally what I do. The humidity here is no joke. So my hair basically like dreaded itself. It's all, it just does, it like curls so much that it dreads. So that's lovely. Um, hopefully I can get one more day out of my hair. We'll see. <laughs> it's kind of wild, but that's okay. Hey love, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Hope you really like this walk around Lima and exploring. We're having seriously so much fun just like walking around, seeing the neighborhoods, experiencing the culture. And today we kind of had no like set plans, like itinerary. We just wanted to go out and explore and everything, but we do have a ton on the itinerary for the next vlog. So definitely stay tuned. I'm so excited to share more of our Peru adventures with you. If you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Let's me know that you are vibing with the content and all of the fun travels and everything. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on your notifications so you stay up to date with all of the latest. And I will see you in the next proof vlog. Take care. Bye.